G'day, how's it going? So, we're just off on a little wander up the river today. Um, it's going to rain for a couple of days and then we've got a bit of other work to do so I'm just going up the river to pull some traps out today um, because I can't really set any with the rain coming and, and whatnot. So yeah, we've got Kiwi and Tawa with us again today and there is the odd pig around so we might be in for a bit of action up the river here somewhere. Um, but yeah, we've got a bit of work to do as well, so we'll just see how we go. So yeah, we'll go for a wander. See what happens. Sweet. Man, dogs are actually looking real keen. They just headed up this face here. Kiwi had her hackles up. Might be in nice and early. Oh. Sounds like we got a bail on. Good deal, Kiwi. Good deal, Kiwi. Good deal. Hey. Good boy. Oh, we got a nice fat young boy. Nice ass. Bit of eating on him. Dogs did a stellar job. Oh yeah. Huh? So yeah, I just bloody pretty much just finished introducing the video there and just walked up another few hundred metres um, and then the dogs sort of got their hackles up or well, Kiwi did anyway and Tawa was already gone um, and usually when Kiwi gets her hackles up it means it's a boar and um, yeah I couldn't really see the size of the pig because this crown fan's so bloody high you know it's I mean that's Pretty damn high, it's like chest height. Couldn't really see the pig in there, I could just hear him grinding his tusks, chomping away. And he was having a few days at Kiwi and stuff, so I just it's quite um, keen to get him get a bullet in him really, so I just shot him the first chance I got. I didn't muck around with filming. If it might might end up ripping one of the dogs up, it's just not really worth it, eh? So I just shot him, first chance I got really, even though he's not actually that big. He's only an 80 pounder or something. He's got little hooks. But they're still good enough to actually rip a dog up. You're too quick though, aren't you mate? You've never been ripped, fingers crossed. 
stays that way. Well, he's probably, yeah, well, I don't know, who knows how heavy he is. Maybe only 70 pounds. Definitely pretty fat though, but he's got that shiny coat to him, which is always a real good sign, you know. And usually animals with shiny coats are fat. So we'll get him gutted and drag him back down to by the river there. Just hang him up I think and we'll carry on, do our work, come back and carry him out on our way back down. Sweet. Alright, we've got our pig hanging up. And we'll get our pack packed up again and head on up the river there. Do some actual work. Anyway, yeah, so we're just going to start walking up the river now. Um, I'm just going to walk all the way up as far as I'm going to go without pulling any traps and then I'll get my hammer out and we'll pull our way back down. Just so that we've got a, a light pack most of the way and then it'll be just towards the end when we're getting close to the bush edge. The pack will start getting quite heavy then and we won't have too far to go. Yeah, I might have to do two trips right at the end there to come back and get that pig. But yeah, we'll keep on going. Beautiful day, beautiful place to be. Sweet. Right, so we're just having a bite to eat on a nice core fire face here. Wow, it's a nice feed bush in here. Um, there's a bit of limestone around. And yeah, there's quite a lot of core fire trees along here. And you can't really see it now. Um, you can see there's still the odd flower. It's springtime at the moment. And you can see out there there's a core fire flower here and there. Uh, but most of them are finished now. But a few weeks ago, or probably three weeks ago, I was up here and these faces were just yellow. And man, the tuis were just unreal. There's just so many tuis everywhere. So yeah, I've got a bit of footage of that. Um, I'll just play it for you now. But yeah, pretty amazing, pretty cool to see. Um, the way the birds just turn up and, and meet a food source like that.
far out, it's definitely springtime, man. There's a heap of deer on that clearing. But yeah, anyway, we're as far as we're gonna come now. Um, that's our first trap we're gonna pull. Got our trusty pulling hammer here. Make light work of it. Lots of leverage, makes it super easy. Pull those staples out. Off we go back down the river.